Ottawa, hello. I'm from Winnipeg, but I live in Costa Rica now. <laughs> um, awesome. Okay, so I have, yeah, and you guys just say hello in the chat. Let me know where you're from, Arizona, Ottawa. Don't be shy, you guys. Struggling with having energy to cook after work all day or when the kids have sports from six to nine. Totally, totally. And again, then it's hard to be consistent when we don't have the energy to cook. And you guys will learn with me that that's actually a mindset issue that we need to we need to focus on. There's a lot of stuff in there. Hey, everyone in, in Indiana. Hello. Okay, share my screen. I always laugh. I have this online <laughs> online. I work online and I struggle with tech. So we'll see how this goes. Okay. Now let me find. my PowerPoint, not here. Can you guys see my screen? Let me know. Yep, we got it. You got it, okay. How to get your nutrition on track. This is what I want. And I want my chat up. Indiana, Tennessee, Indiana, two from Indiana. Awesome, I'll keep my chat over here. So let me see if I can get this. Uh, there we go. So you guys can probably see that. So let's dive in. If anyone comes late, that's okay. I'll let them in. Let me see if I can get my participants. So that should show me. I'll put that maybe down there. I think if anyone else joins, okay. So we're going to dive right in. So how to get your nutrition on, ta on track forever. So how to get your nutrition on track and keep it on track forever with ease and confidence, not with discipline and willpower and white knuckling, but with ease and with confidence. And I, I also wanna help you end cravings, end binge eating, increase your energy and permanently lose stubborn body fat all over without relying on willpower restrictions and calorie counting. Cause that's what happens when you get your nutrition on track the way I teach you and you keep it on track, okay? So this session's for you if you are deeply struggling with food. You have a complicated relationship with food, complicated relationship with food. If you're struggling to stay on track with your nutrition, if you are deeply struggling with your body, uh, if you've been dieting, restricting, binging, and still struggling with food, never being able to stay on track, losing a little bit of weight, gaining it all back. Okay. If you feel like you have no discipline or control over food, you find yourself restricting being good for a little bit than overeating or binge eating. Uh, if you get overwhelmed or anxious at even the thought of food or prepping food. So someone already mentioned that. It's like, I can't prep, right? Just feeling stressed about it. Um, if you're worried about your health, if you're ready to talk and learn beyond just diets and restrictions, uh, this session's for you. And if you want to know confidently how to nourish your body right, end cravings, increase your energy, lose weight permanently, and end the food and body struggle that you're stuck in right now. And I know that when women struggle with food, they struggle with their body and they struggle in all areas of life because this, this is like always in your mind. It's a constant stress that never goes away and you don't have the energy you need to give to all the other areas. So this struggle, this food struggle affects every area of your life. And I know that, I know that deeply about women. Okay, I've been there and um, I've worked with thousands of women struggling with food, crushing workouts, but struggling with food. Uh, this is also for you. If you are willing to look at yourself, study yourself and have deeper conversations <laughs> and learn new things so that you can figure this out. Because if we just keep talking about restrictions and about the food and we never do the deeper work, we will just continue on the struggle bus because what you need to get nutrition on track is beyond just the food and the restrictions. It's much, much deeper than that. Okay. Um, does any of that sound like you in the comments? Like, yep, I'm in the right place. And if that doesn't sound like you, I don't want to waste any of your time. If you just want performance nutrition for an ultra marathon or something like I'm not your person. I help women end the struggle with food. Yes, we will nourish your body deeply so that you 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 are nourishing your body better for your athletic ad, ad, your athletic goals, but that's not the key. That's not the core of what I teach. 
I'm not a sports nutritionist. I help women get their nutrition on track all the time, every day, right? Very much me, me, me. Yep. Yep. Me. <laughs> Absolutely. Right. And so you guys are feeling all those things. You want to get this on track. And these are some of the other things you might be feeling deeper in your body that are signs that your nutrition needs, you need to work on this. Okay. You feel like you're working out a ton, but it doesn't look like you're working out. Mm -hmm. You feel frustrated, stuck, and like your metabolism is totally broken. You feel like you can get on track, but you can't stay on track. And that's frustrating. And then you blame yourself right? What's wrong with me? I wish I just had more discipline, more motivation, right? There's a lot of self-blame, a lot of negative self-talk about it. You're watching your weight creep up, especially around the midsection. You're beginning to worry about your health, or maybe you've been diagnosed with insulin resistance, pre-diabetes, diabetes, blood pressure, or thyroid conditions. And your doctors told you, sorry, and your doctors told you that you need to just Ava. lose weight or Are take you looking at me. Sorry. I don't have my glasses on. So it's just yeah. a blur. Yeah. <laughs> Can everybody mute themselves? Can I do that? Uh, yeah, just mute yourselves. You guys, I don't, um, and, and so maybe your doctor said you need to lose weight and given you medications and, and like nothing's working. You don't know what to do. Uh, you might be struggling because what used to work isn't working anymore. I hear that a lot from women. I used to be able to eat like this and exercise like this, but now my body's like taking on a shape of its own and I've been restricting and I can't really restrict anymore, right? Like it's not working. You're at a loss with nutrition. You don't know what to eat. You don't know when to eat. You don't know how to stay on track. And there's so much information on the internet that you are just confused, which leaves you just like on the couch eating processed food because you don't know what to do, right? Maybe your digestive system is off, right? Bloating, constipation, irritable bowel syndrome. Uh, maybe you, you know what to do, but for the life of you, you just can't stay on track. Maybe you've tried numerous diets. Maybe you've been counting, tracking, restricting. You've been using the apps, but nothing sticks and nothing's working. Um, uh, you're having cravings, like out of control cravings, that sweet tooth, that salty tooth. And, and, and you just, you're, out of control around food, or maybe you can control yourself for a short time, but you always end up binge and overeating. Okay. you you eat healthy and then you binge and overeat other afternoons, evenings, weekends, or maybe you're good for a couple of weeks, but then boom, you're off track for months. Uh, you're exhausted. Feel like you have low motivation, low self-control, low self-discipline. And again, you're beating yourself up. You feel like you are the problem, right? I can't do this. Um, maybe you've been taking care of everyone else for the last two to three decades, and you've never even thought about putting yourself first or working on this. So your health has come last. And now you're like, okay, I need to get this out of control. A lot of women come to me with a lot of shame, a lot of misery, a lot of anger, a lot of hopelessness, and they're feeling frustrated and angry with themselves. Okay. With their body, it feels broken and you hate what you see in the mirror. Okay. I this is a very going to be a very different nutrition workshop than you've ever been to because I don't just talk about the food. That's the superficial. We all know what foods are good for us and what foods aren't good for us. We all know that. That's not rocket science. What we struggle with is doing it. And so I'm getting really deep into what's really going on out there. Okay. I am all about going deep. Again, if you don't, if that's not for you, then I don't want to waste your time on this workshop. But if it is, then stay with me. Does any of this sound familiar? Again, just give me a yes, a check, something below. Let me know you're here and that, yep, I'm like, I'm feeling this because you're not alone, you guys. You are not alone in this. Like I said, I think that the struggle, the deep, deep struggle with nutrition is the fitness industry's dirty little secret. No one talks about it. They just talk about counting and fasting and tracking and giving things up and, and they celebrate it, but it's creating so much struggle and quite frankly, so much disordered eating that never gets diagnosed, that never gets treated, that never gets worked on. And women struggle their whole lives. Okay. And I don't want that for you because there's life aside from struggling with food. <laughs> okay. I totally get this because women come to me wanting to get fit, lean, and strong, but struggling with cravings, nighttime overeating, weight loss resistance, especially in the midsection. They're confused about what to eat, how to eat. They're falling off track again and again, frustrated, feeling hopeless and hating their body. They're exhausted, irritable, moody. Many feel on the edge of a nervous breakdown. 
Their fat storing, fat burning, and hunger hormones are out of whack. Their metabolism has, has downgraded and their body is sending all kinds of signs, which we talked about above, right? Like the digestive stuff and, and the weight gain and, and the diagnosis from the doctor, all kinds of stuff, signs that something's off. But the most frustrating and the when you come to get help is because of the weight gain, the low energy, the cravings and the irritability. Those are like the four top things that women really are like, okay, I need help, right? Um, and they know their nutrition is a big problem. We know that our nutrition is a big problem and they need help, okay? Does any of that sound like you? Does that, does that resonate, okay? And so when you're feeling that, you're like, oh my God, the weight's creeping on and I'm super irritable and I have no energy and I just ate all the food. It's been months that I've been off track. I need to get on track. You're freaking out, right? You're freaking out about your body, about your weight, about your nutrition. So you go to Google you look up weight loss and it tells you to do these things, right? Eat less, restrict, cut, count, fast, do keto, whole 30, blah, blah, blah. All the restrictive things talking about the food tells you to exercise more. So you sign up for some aggressive challenge, right? Whole 30, a marathon, maybe, um, what's the other 75 hard, something crazy, some tracking. I know people are like, well, we just signed up for a six week tracking. You know, we, we want to track every bite and every morsel. We set big goals. You, you're, you're all in, right? Go in, go hard, go home. You don't wish for it. You work for it. These are all the slogans, right? Go all in, do it perfect. If you fail to plan, everyone's yelling at you, right? If you fail to plan, then you're planning to fail and you just need more willpower. You're ready to get disciplined. You're going to take massive action, hustle, right? You're all in, you're coming in hot. Like, let's do this. It's January or whatever it is that week after a huge binge, whatever it is, you're coming in hot, you're eating healthy, you're working out. And then you burn out and it doesn't last very long. And I used to run 30 day challenges and I teach everyone, everyone's all excited and I teach them and they were all in two weeks in 90% of people had fallen off track. They disappeared. And I'm like, well, you're not going to get results if you don't stay till the end, but this is what happens right in these short little challenges where we're all in focused on the action. We burn out. Because we're not, we're not, we're not going deeper and, and actually getting to the root of the problem. We're band-aiding the problem with another quick fix. It's another massive action challenge. And this, this is what I call the hustle diet cycle, right? We're off track, gaining weight, frustrated and super sick of yourself. You're pumped. You, like you hit rock bottom and then you sign up for a challenge and you're all in new gear, a new diet, ready to restrict, counting all the, getting all your fitness pal apps, tracking every bite, you ramp up the workouts, you're hustling, you get tired, you miss a day, life happens, you have stress at work when your kids get sick, you fall off plan, you don't really see the changes in your body you want in a week, you get hungry, and then you end up binge eating, quitting the workouts, the negative voice kicks in, F it, back to old habits and now you're all out right this triggers the guilt the shame the frustration feeling like a failure like you are the problem defeated pointless if only you had more willpower and discipline you end up scared of food hating your body there's tons of drama and then the cycle starts again and this hustle diet culture leads to all in all out this all in all out with nutrition it's really hard on your system. Your body hates all in and all out. And it actually downgrades your metabolism, triggers systemic inflammation, causes hormonal dysregulation, and leads to fat storage, exhaustion, frustration, drama, and a toxic relationship with food, exercise, your body, and yourself. And when you have a toxic relationship with food, exercise, body, and yourself, it's really hard to nourish your body with consistency through all of life's ups and downs, okay? Yeah, sick kids derail all the plans and, and, and put life in survival mode. That's right, right? Does this cycle look familiar, you guys? This cycle, all in, miss a few, life happens, burnout, trigger all the emotions. Um, let me know in the comments, okay? Again, you're not alone. 90%, 97% of people that go on diets fail long-term. This is why, okay? And I... I am really 
I believe that education is so powerful and understanding. Because if I just tell you what to do here, this is how you balance your macros, go and do it. You won't do it. So I have to teach you and, and help you understand yourself. Like I said, this, this workshops for people who want to understand themselves and look at themselves and study themselves and understand where you're getting stuck. Because until you see where you're getting stuck with nutrition, you'll never be able to solve the problem and get out of the rut that you're in. Have to understand so that we can, awareness is first, okay? So can you see where you might be getting stuck, right? I call this the hustle diet roller coaster. You are all over the map. Emotions, kids, life, stress, on track, off track, all over. And again, your body hates to be on this roller coaster. And for women specifically over 35. So we could do this when we were younger. For women over 35 in that perimenopause and then menopause period, our body cannot handle this stress anymore. And this is why it's women say, well, I turned 40 and all of a sudden, like it's not working anymore. My body's completely changing. And then we hop on another diet, right? We, so we just continue that cycle. Women come to me after decades of that cycle. And your body is just so much more sensitive to that as we get older. When we're young, our bodies are resilient and they can tolerate it. They tolerate it. They don't love it. It might've worked, but it really didn't work because we didn't, you didn't set yourself up with any good habits for your, for later in life. Um, and so just keep that in mind too. Your body functions best when it's riding a gentle wave, right? When it's, when it's stable, when it's consistent, when it's balanced, when you're, you're not doing this, you're not going into a challenge for 30 days all in and then completely falling off track. You have the skills to stay consistent through all of life's ups and downs. I'm a consistency master and I get fitter, leaner, and stronger every year. My nutrition never falls off track. That doesn't mean my nutrition is perfect. I don't count. I don't track. I don't weigh. I don't do any of that nonsense. I just had pizza for lunch. Like I am not perfect, but I'm, I'm consistent. 80 to 90% of the time through all of life's ups and downs. And that's what I want for you because every time you hop on another restrictive diet, beating yourself up for failing once again, with the goal of eating less and cutting out all the things and you lose some scale weight, but not midsection weight. And then, and you, you also don't feel incredible in your body and you don't get lean and you don't have energy when you, along with that little bit of weight you're losing from that restrictive diet, every time you do that, and then you gain it all back plus some, because you can't keep it up. You're further increasing the stress, inflammation, hormonal chaos in your body. You're further downgrading metabolism, making every similar attempt harder and harder. So we're making it worse every time we do this for ourselves, not to mention the mental drama that happens between our ears, right? And I don't want you to panic, okay? If this is you, you're like, yeah, I've been doing this. Um, don't panic. That's what I'm here to teach you. This is what I, this is what I do. This is what I help people stop doing. And then I, I help them fix this because there's so much you can do once you understand why you're, where you're going wrong. Your body is not as simple as a bank account. The way every trainer out there says, it's just calories in, calories out. It's not that's way too simple. Your body is actually a complex chemistry lab and it hates chaos. It hates this up and down. Um, and we need to understand our bodies and our physiology and ourselves. We have to understand our emotions and how we manage our emotions. And we have to understand our subconscious habits and thoughts and patterns. Okay. Randomly restricting calories, counting points and uh, pushing your body into the ground using hustle, grind and brute force while expecting perfectionism from yourself is not how you get your nutrition on track. And I see women doing it for decades, right? Hands up, who's been doing that, right? Uh, you're not alone. Like I said, I, I've worked with so many women and I wanna take a compassion pause if you've been stuck in this cycle and I don't want you to feel bad. I don't want you to feel like you've fallen for all the tricks and that you've wasted so much time and that you're never gonna recover from this because you will but I want you to just take a moment to pause that this is, this is not your fault. This is what social media and magazines and diet culture has been pushing on women forever because they make a lot of money messing with us and our bodies. Okay. Um, it's not your fault. And it really is just a part of your journey. It's what brought you here. 
And understanding this and understanding yourself is what's going to help you break free from this cycle and start to do the things you need to do to deeply nourish your body and restore your metabolism and get your health truly on track and end this struggle. Okay. So just take a moment, like close your eyes and take a breath. Okay. You know, this can be really stressful for people. And the goal of this session is I want to help you get off this roller coaster and instead get onto the easy breezy sail boat on the gentle ocean. Okay. I just want you guys have an easy breezy life. I want to set you up with everything you need to seriously get your nutrition on track in a sustainable way so that you can stay on track with ease end all the struggling and actually hit your health and fitness goals and get fitter, leaner, stronger, and healthier than you've ever been in your whole life. And that's absolutely possible for you at any age. I just got off a client call with my deep, deeply nourished group. My, my oldest lady is 71. She's never, she struggled with food her whole life, died in her whole life. And she has never felt better. She's 71. Okay. Um, you can't run off a bad diet. Getting your nutrition on track is only 20% about the food and it's 80% a lot of other things, things that you guys don't know right now, which is why you are stuck in this cycle you are stuck in. You just don't know these things. How are you supposed to know these things? You don't have a degree in psychology and nutrition and you haven't worked with thousands of women and studied this, you know? That's what I'm here to do. I'm here to teach you what you need to know. I want nutrition for you guys to feel fun, simple, easy, possible, sustainable, enjoyable. I want you to be confident. I want you to know that the strategies I teach you are effective. And I want to do that all without drama, without chaos, and without crazy restrictions or counting. You don't need any of that stuff. And my promise is I'm going to help you understand why you struggle with nutrition and what you need to do to confidently get your nutrition on track in a sustainable way so that you can end your cravings, increase your energy, permanently lose unhealthy weight and end the food struggle. And this training is going to be really unique and different because not only do I know the science of physiology and nutrition, um, and exercise and all that stuff. More important than the science, what most people don't understand is there is a lot of art to science, okay? And I've worked with thousands of women and I've sat with thousands of women and I've listened to thousands of women. And so I know a lot that most people don't know. I've listened to the struggles, the deepest, deepest struggles and I know what works and what doesn't work I know where you guys get stuck I know why you are stuck I know you better than you know yourselves and I know you better than um, most of the fitness trainers out there who took a weekend course online no they haven't worked with, with women deeply I'm not a fitness trainer like I'm a medical health profession by trade and I've been working for 20 years in the industry and I've worked and I, I'm an empathic listener and a feeler. And so what I'm teaching you isn't going to be another list of foods to restrict. It's not what this is about. That's not how you get your nutrition on track. You know that already. And you know that you know that, you know, processed foods and too much sugar is not good for you. You know, real food is what you need to be doing. Like, it's not rocket science. And so what is the gap? Where, where is the problem? That's, that's what I'm, that's what I know. And that's what I teach. Okay. It's going to be loads of value in this workshop. Um, but I don't have tons of time, so I can't teach you everything. Like I can't coach you in here. I can't teach you everything. I know I'm going to give you the brief, um, overview, take notes, if I, if, like, when I say you need to know this, like write it down. If you guys feel like you're something, have an aha, write it down, get a notepad and paper and stay with me. Okay. Listen deeply. <laughs> and I, my biggest ask is that you're an action taker. You know, if I, if I say, write this down, I want you guys to write this down. Okay. If, if, if I tell you to get a, a pen and paper, get that, take notes. Okay. If I ask you guys a question, try participate in the conversation. You're going to get so much more out of this. I want it to be a little bit interactive. Okay. 
So if you're going to be an action taker and take as much out of this um, and just really take everything that I've got in here, I always say, I wish that I could take what I know here and just infuse it into you guys, but I can't. So I have to teach you and I have to support you. Um, and I, and if you, if you want all of that, um, be an action taker. So just type who's going to be an action taker below. Are you going to be an action taker? Okay. Let me know. Comment below. And who am I to teach the stuff? If we haven't met, I'm Carrie Adam. Um, I told you a little bit about, you know, my, my background with people. Um, and I'm, I'm consistent. I, a little while ago, I do a lot of personal development work personally, in addition to like studying research and taking professional development courses in, um, in all things nutrition and exercise. I'm a physical therapist by trade. Uh, I worked all over the hospital system and, um, and then I work with women online in, in, in health and fitness coaching. And what I've learned in my own personal development work is that I'm a consistency master. And that that's all that matters. <laughs> you can have a sub-average nutrition program and a sub-average workout program, but if you can be consistent, that will get you insane results. And I'm consistent through all of life's ups and downs. And so over the years, I've created various programs to help women, right? First, I created a strength training program for runners to help runners at, do strength training. Great. Then I realized they were stuck with nutrition, like really struggling with nutrition. So I did tons of research on nutrition, um, reverse engineered sort of a bunch of stuff, built a program called Fitter, Leaner, Stronger. It used to be called, um, uh, it's had a couple iterations, but I taught macro balancing. And I'm going to teach you guys the macro balancing strategies here, macro mastery. I created a video course on how to balance your macros, gave them all the recipes. We did four weeks of daily check-ins. They weren't doing it. And I did that for a while and I got frustrated because I don't just want to sell you guys stuff. Like I want to transform your health like deeply. And I was like, but they're not doing it. They're not sticking to it. I'm, I'm actually creating more, I'm doing more harm to a lot of people than I'm doing help because you either can't stick to it, you drop off, spiral down, end up back in that cycle or you just get so overwhelmed right from the beginning that you don't even get started. And I'm like, well, that's not working. This isn't helpful. And I, I studied, you know, Brennan Burchard and high performance habits and I don't know, a bunch of mindset stuff, personal development and started an accountability group because people said, I just need more accountability. So I started a weekly accountability group and people will come if they didn't do it. Well, why didn't you do it? I don't know. Over life, like life was just too much. I couldn't do it. And so we did this for a while. And I'm like, well, this isn't helping. Now they feel worse because now they're meeting me live. And then they're telling me they didn't do it. And I don't have anything for them except, well, then just go and do it. And I'm like, well, that's not working. Um, and I'm obsessed with results. I'm obsessed with getting you guys results. And so I'm driving, I'm studying all the time. I listen to podcasts relentlessly and I'm driving in my truck. And I'm always with my family. And I happen to be alone. I remember this specifically. I happen to be alone and I'm driving. And I'm listening to the podcast and she's talking about beliefs and thoughts and how brains are wired. And, you know, some people's brains are wired to believe in themselves and some aren't. And I went, oh my God, oh my God. And I started bawling, like just bawling. And I pulled my truck over. And I just was crying. I'm like, this is it. <laughs> you guys, I take this work seriously. <laughs> I'm, I'm like, this is it. My brain is wired different. My brain is wired differently than theirs. I don't diet. I don't fall off track. I believe in myself. I'm consistent. I just do the work. Like my brain is literally wired different than yours. I mean, we're all got the same information. We've all got the same recipes, like strategies. Like why am I able to be consistent? They're not. My brain is wired differently. And, I, and that changed the game for everything I did. So I created, I started studying new things, emotional mastery diet culture, diet brain, how to rewire your brain, how to believe in yourself, how to change your identity. This is the game changer. And that's why I teach what I teach. It's not just about the food. The food is the simple part. It's the thoughts and the rewiring your brain and becoming an emotional like master. Because like someone said, I, my sick kids, I get derailed because my kids get sick. I go into survival mode. That's emotional right? You have to learn how to still nourish your body through the ups and downs of life, through the emotions. And most of us don't know how to do that. We've never been taught 
how to master our emotions and stay on track. Learning to stay on track is so much about subconscious rewiring of your brain and how it's currently wired because of diet culture and childhood and trauma and like all of this stuff and, and learning how to manage your emotions without eating them, without falling back into old habits, without beating yourself up, without binge eating all the junk food. We do so much of this in autopilot. And so that's where this has come from for me and where it's evolved for me. And, and I just, I love it. And, and everything I've, I, I'm going to teach you the basics today, but in my program, Deeply Nourished, I walk you through step by step. What I did with that program is I created it with, with people. It was like every time I was like, okay, diet culture need to rewire their brains. And then I would come with another block. Oh, now they're stuck here. And I would create, figure out what's going on, create a, get them unstuck. And now the deeply nourished program takes you step by step through all of that. Women work with me for 12 weeks and they totally change their relationship with food, their body and, and, and get their nutrition on track. Like women who've been binge eating their whole lives are like, I don't do it anymore. Like it's crazy. It's not surprising, but it does blow my, my mind because it, it just, it's, it's fascinating. It, it's because of the brain work that we do. It's about the emotional work that we do. It's because I rewire your brain around food, <laughs> which is not what any of the other programs do. They just tell you to restrict all these foods, count all these calories, and these foods are bad, so don't touch them. And if you fall off track, you're bad, right? And my biggest revelation from all the work that I've been doing is that combining a simple but effective macro balanced anti-inflammatory nutrition protocol with next level emotional mastery, mindfulness, and personal development work is the most effective and the only way to get your nutrition on track and keep it on track so that you can truly build the fit, lean, strong, healthy body you want. You cannot skip any of these steps. You just can't. This is the art and the behavioral psychology to the basic science of nutrition. The science of nutrition is simple. Nutrition is simple. We all need the same nutrition. Our bodies are literally the same. What it makes us different is our brains and our life journeys and our trauma and our stresses and our emotional capacity to handle all of life's ups and downs. It's our beliefs and our thoughts and, and that's got nothing to do with food. Okay. Nutrition is 20% about the food and 80% much deeper work skills and strategies, which is not what people look for when they're struggling with food. We're not searching for this stuff. So um, this is just a nutrition mastery framework. And just, this is just a grid I put together. You guys can kind of see where you are. So when it comes to nutrition, there's knowledge and then there's consistency. And this is where you're probably going to lie in one of these four quadrants, right? The researcher knows what to do, right? You may have taken my, my macro mastery course. You might know exactly what to do. Not hard. How do I nourish my body? You've done all the programs, right? But you can't stay consistent. So you're low on consistency. You know what to do, right? Then there's the yo-yo dieter who is, does not know what to do and is never consistent. So this is where you like, I got to, oh my God, I freak out, right? I freak out, hit rock bottom, weight's going on, nutrition's a mess, been spiraling out of control, grab a diet, can't stick to it. Cycle continues over and over. That's the yo-yo dieter. And then there's the hustler. The hustler is real consistent, eating healthy, tracking the macros, doing all the things, but, is no, but isn't doing the right things because there's no what to do, right? Maybe they're not eating carbs. Maybe they're fasting for days at a time. Um, this is where a lot of people say, Carrie, I'm eating healthy, but I'm not getting results. That's because you are doing the work, but you don't know what to do. And so you, all these quadrants are stuck. And where I want you to be, where I'm here to get you is into the quadrant where you know what to do and you're insanely consistent. And I call that the deeply nourished woman. Okay. You know exactly how to nourish your body. You're doing it consistently through all of life's ups and downs. Your metabolism is fired up. You have consistent energy. Your moods are stable. You're getting fitter, leaner, and stronger year over year with ease and simplicity. Okay. Who wants to be? Well, let me know. Where do you guys see yourselves? Are you the researcher who knows what to do, but just can't do it? Are you the yo-yo dieter just stuck in that cycle? Are you the hustler who, who like thinks she's doing it right? 
and is consistent, but it's not getting results. Okay. Or are you the deeply nourished woman already? And you're just here for, for extra knowledge, right? Let me know you guys remember action take, where are you? Self-awareness is very, very important in the journey to getting your nutrition on track. It's the, it's, it's the key to getting any habit, any change in your life on track. We have to be aware of where we are right now without judgment. So this is something I work on with my, with my clients. We have to learn to assess ourselves and have self-awareness from a place of just curiosity, not beating ourselves up, not like, oh, why am I so stupid? I, I like, no, just, oh, interesting. Yeah, I'm a total hustler. Oh my God, I'm a yo-yo dieter. Interesting. No wonder I'm stuck. Critical think about where you are. Have that self-awareness without judgment, okay? Hustlers, we've got some hustlers in the room. Totally. I see a lot of hustlers working out real hard, um, eating really little, eating really healthy, vegan, all that stuff, but just not getting results, not feeling good. Okay. Uh, these are just all women that, that I've worked with in my program who are struggling. Um, yo-yo dieters, emotional eaters, hustlers, you know, lots of hustlers, lots of hustlers, lots of yo-yo dieters. Okay. And then there actually is lots of, um, Lots of researchers too know what to do, but just can't do it. Just always stuck. Emotions are just really always big. Okay. And so let's dive into the five strategies. <laughs> um, I'm not doing too bad for time. I talk a lot, you guys. It's probably going to be about 90 minutes, but uh, I've got a lot of, of interesting. Well, I think they're interesting. I think this stuff is fascinating. I think behavior change is. Um, can you talk to me? I'm going to Mm -hmm. Come on. Well, let me know if you can hear me. Um, so the five strategies on track and staying on track is researcher. Yeah. Uh, number one strategy is food is okay. Food is the industry, the diet industry, fitness industry has demonized food for women. Since we were small, we were taught to eat less, to cut, to restrict, to count. And it makes us think, remember I said my brain works different. So many women come to me scared of food, scared of carbohydrates, scared of breakfast, scared of food, scared to eat too much, scared they're eating the wrong things. And food, is your body's fuel. Without enough high quality fuel at the right time in the right portions for the right reasons, your body's systems shut down. And that's why you feel miserable. That's why your anxiety is all over the place. That's why um, you're, you have no energy. That's why your digestive system doesn't work. That's why you have brain fog. That's why you're tired all the time. That's why your body's holding onto weight. It's just not functioning pro pro properly. I don't see food as a problem. I nourish my body. I know that food is fuel. And so I eat breakfast. I eat big portion meals. I, I, tune into my hunger. I'm not scared of my hunger. If I'm hungry, I eat a really good snack. And that was one of the big main, main differences that women come to me struggling are scared of food, right? And I need you guys to understand that food is fuel. Here's a story of Diane. She joined a round of Deeply Nourished, my 12 week program. Um, she's in the 60s. And she had struggled it felt hard and confusing. Honestly, just the thought of food gave her anxiety. She came to the first call shaking. Like, she's like, I can't believe I signed up for this. I'm already overwhelmed. Um, she tried all the restrictive diet. She always fell off track and beat herself. It wasn't perfect. And then she stayed off track for months. She was really stuck. She was really, I don't know. It's interesting. That stuff. I don't, I don't know. I must something given her some hope that there was, a, that she could 
work on this because she signed up. And I know that that's the trickiest part, but she joined up. She signed the deeply nourished, she joined the deeply, deeply nourished program, wanting more help, but she was super anxious and hesitant. Like I said, she went through the method with me week over week. It's a 10 module program and we, um, we work together, we do it over 12 weeks. We meet every week and we talked and I really held her hand and, and, and kept it calm and reminded her that food is fuel. That was one of the first things we work on. And week by week, you know, she did the food peace protocol. She used the pro-metabolic macro balancing strategies. We simplified nutrition in her brain and um, her results. This is what she said. I can't stress enough how much the transition has changed me. In the beginning, I was so uncertain, but once the retraining of our brain begins, the mindset, the mind shift is just so freeing and life-changing in so many areas. Like I said, when you struggle with food this way, you struggle in all areas. And she got this in control and it changed all the other areas of her life as well that she's been struggling with for her whole life. Um, I'm so excited for the impact it has already had on me and I can't wait to see what the future holds. It's amazing the simplicity of it all once the dots connect. I absolutely love that you're doing this for us. It not only impacts us regarding nutrition, but trickles into all the other areas of our life. And she, her shift from shaking, confused and overwhelmed with nutrition, she just, nutrition was easy. Like she was just on track and there was no more beating herself up. There's no more anxiety about food. She just was nourishing her body, appreciating food for what it was, fuel for her body, right? Her anxiety went down, like it was awesome. Awesome. Um, so how, what do you guys think about food? I'd love to know what, what your thoughts are. Like when I say food, what comes to your mind before that, right? Like, um, well, how would you describe your thoughts towards food? And could you commit to shifting your focus? How, how would that feel for you to make that shift in your brain? Because again, my brain works different. I think food is fuel. A lot of you, when you think food, you think hard. I think simple. I think delicious. I think healthy. I think I love food. Like I love eating and, and I love eating big, delicious, wholesome meals. That's what comes to my brain when I think of food. What comes to your brain? And could you commit to working on shifting your thoughts? Because these are just your thoughts. And the thing about food is it's neutral. There's not like food doesn't mean anything until you assign your thoughts to it. So a lot of people, food is hard. Food is comfort, food is difficult, food is anxiety. And, and like food is, you know, there's all kinds of words that come up, scary. Like, I don't wanna eat food. I don't know how to eat food. Like these are all the things that come up for people. And those thoughts are what dictates your emotions around food. And then that your emotions are what create your actions, thoughts and inactions. And when I think food is really delicious and I love it, I go to the grocery store and buy food. I cook really good food. I go out for dinner. I choose really good food. I eat good food and it fuels my body and I feel great. If you think food is hard and difficult and it, it, it triggers anxiety and you don't know what to eat and it's confusing, your emotions are like really negative, right? And then like, like you don't know what to do. And then you end up sitting on the couch, not doing anything. And then you're eating a bag of chips and a tub of ice cream. And so those are the results that you get. And so that's why diets and focusing on the food doesn't work because the only way to change your results truly for the long term and get long term results is to actually go up and change your thoughts and your beliefs, not the action. You can change the action all day, which is what diets are. But if you never change your thoughts and your beliefs about food, about yourself, what you're capable of, you will never change the action. You will never get the result you want, which is why people are stuck spinning. And so your first lesson with me is you need to work on those thoughts about food. Food is fuel. I want to nourish my body. My body deserves to be nourished versus I need to restrict, I need to cut, I need to count, I need to track. I hate food. I hate cooking, right? I'm scared of food. All of that's going to drag you down, okay? Strategy two, have to ditch dieting. 97% of dieters regain the weight they lost within one to five years. And every time you lose some weight on a restrictive diet and then you gain it all back plus some, you've caused further damage to your hormones and your metabolism. And people will say, well, it, like my, it, keto worked for me when I did it, but you didn't, it didn't work long-term. You couldn't sustain it, so it didn't work. And maybe these diets work short-term, but when you go on a restrictive diet short-term, you lose fat, yes, you lose water, yes, you lose muscle. 
And we need muscle. Muscle's gold for women. Muscle's what keeps our metabolism going. It's what gives our body like muscles and endocrine organ. It, keep, it, it does a lot of stuff. And if we're losing muscle, we're not getting any healthier through restrictive diets. It causes a lot of mental drama and we can't stick to it. And then we actually downgrade our metabolism. And then when we fall off and we eat more, we've, because we've downgraded our metabolism, our body's adapted. Now we're eating all this food and our body's storing it all as fat. And, and we don't want that. Like diets don't work. Um, they've never worked. And, and they also cause a lot of mental drama. And so here's a few facts about dieting. Like I said, dieting is also action. Right? It's just it's just changing your actions without doing any thought work or changing your thoughts and beliefs or working on your emotions. And so that's why the other reason they don't, like that's the main reason they don't work is it's just focusing on the action. It keeps you stuck in a cycle because you're not working on your brain. You're not changing your thoughts. Um, and then a few more facts about dieting. One in four dieters will go on to develop an eating disorder. Diet culture not only encourages disordered eating, it praises it. Eating disorders are the second most deadly mental health illness, and we should be raging about this. We should be raging about this for sure. ourselves, for our sisters, for our communities, for our daughters. Okay. Um, I'm really, I'm really super duper passionate about this. Why I don't teach dieting, it's why I really hate diets. And anyone that's pushing diet selling supplements, it's not okay, okay? 35% of occasional dieters progress into pathological dieting, eating disorders, and 25% progress to full-blown eating disorders. Restriction is the biggest driver of binge eating and weight gain, and it also leads to food obsession. And when you're restricting, and so this is why restriction doesn't work, random diet-focused restriction, cut all sugar, cut all carbs, it, it leads to restriction. We know this from the science and from the clinical practice that my colleagues and I, I all see. We binge um, and then we, we fall off track and, and sort of we restrict and then we binge. That's how it goes. Um, that's how your, your physiology, like it's how your brain works, okay? And then it leads to that food obsession, orthorexia, disordered body image and misery. And that affects every area of your life. I don't think about food. I eat food and I move on with my life. And I, I, I see people tracking every bite, stressing about every calorie, thinking about food all day, beating themselves up for what they've eaten, skipping events, stressing about food all the time. I used to work in the hospital and I remember like the old ladies will come in you know, they'd fallen and broken their backs and been lying on the floor for days before someone brought them in and they'd get on the scale because medical always weighs people like, oh, I've lost five pounds. Yay. I'm like, you broke your back and you've been lying on the floor for four days and no one found you and you haven't eaten. Women going through cancer treatments, happy that they've lost weight finally. It's not, it's not okay. Um, and this is diet culture. That's why we need to ditch dieting and just ditch diet culture. Liberating yourself from diet culture is a really deep discussion. Um, there's an entire module in the Deeply Nourished program where we study diet culture and how it's affected you and how it's wired your brain. And then we work to rewire it because that's what it leads to. Dieting causes these perfectionist tendencies in all in or all out mentality. It, it pushes impossible rules, negative self-talk, blaming ourselves when we can't stick to the impossible rules of the diets. It leads to failure over and over. And it makes you the problem. When you're not the problem, these diets are impossible and they don't work. They're causing more damage than good. And they're blaming you because of it. Diets are the problem. And they focus on weight loss at all costs, okay? And there's a difference between losing weight and getting fit, lean, and strong. And in my programs, I focus on helping women nourish their bodies and train strong to build fit, lean, strong, healthy bodies that feel good, that function good, that are, you know, set up for long-term health. And there's a big difference between those two things. Losing weight simply means a lower number on the scale, focuses on cutting, restricting, and dieting. 
It's a goal that causes a great deal of negative emotion and body shame. It obsesses over excessive cardio. It leads to muscle loss, which downgrades metabolism. It leaves you exhausted, at risk of injury, hangry and unhappy. Gets you short-term results at best. It's unsustainable and disempowering. And I'm sure, and again, it's not your fault. Remember, you're studying yourself. You're studying yourself with, with compassion. You're not judging. You're studying with curiosity, trying to figure out why you've been stuck. Okay, why is this so hard for you? That's the focus on losing weight of diets. I have a fitter, leaner, stronger brain and deeply nourished. I help you guys rewire your brain from diet brain to fitter, leaner, stronger brain who nourishes and fuels her body with intention. Um, this means improved body composition. It focuses on nourishing and fueling your body. It's a goal that leads to increased energy, body confidence, and empowerment. It utilizes strength training and the right amounts of cardio. It focuses on building lean muscle, which increases your metabolism. It sets your body up to effectively burn fat all over and feel amazing. And it gets you a fit, strong, and healthy body. A fit, the fit strong, healthy body that you can maintain and feel incredible in for life. Okay, so we want to ditch dieting because again, dieting leads to the diet, the hustle diet roller coaster that we talked about earlier, right? We want to get off this cycle, off this roller coaster. The Kristen, Kristen was on this roller coaster for decades. She's mid forties, mom of four, best-selling author and entrepreneur, hustle, hustle, right? She comes from hustle culture, but she struggled with her weight. Tons of processed food, tons of sugar, didn't exercise, didn't take care of herself, got sick of herself, tried a bunch of diets, struggled with food her whole life. She tried every diet now, tried under the sun. They worked for a bit until they didn't. She was stuck and decided to join the deeply nourished method to increase her metabolism, get her nutrition dialed in and set her body up to permanently lose weight. People come to me for weight loss and then I shift them over to fitter, leaner, stronger because <laughs> there's a difference, which I just showed you. But yeah, I get you want to lose weight and I'm going to help you get fit, lean, and strong because it's better. <laughs> and it's what you actually really want. Um, and then her results, here's a couple. She's always, she always is posting about it, but she just said, the system is the only thing that straightened me out. It has made it so much easier to do the best things for my health and fitness. The negative self-talk about my body and food has been silenced. You truly changed my life in endless ways. Yes, I did the work. You have to do the work. <laughs> but before I met you, I was wandering down the wrong paths. Um, something else she wrote another time was for those of you who will be making resolutions come January, Carrie is the one to follow. So you don't quit, right? Like I said, I'm, I help you guys be consistent. 8% of resolutions are successful. She taught me how to eat without restriction, but in a macro balanced way that fires up my metabolism. She taught me ways to exercise that I love and feel great. She taught me you don't have to go to the gym for two hours and that you can have an effective workout in 30 minutes. I learned that so many of us struggle with our weight because we really don't know how to exercise food and mindfulness works. Um, we don't understand why restriction hurts our metabolism. And I'm grateful for her for teaching me. Again, teaching is key. You've got to learn this stuff, okay? So can you imagine a life where you don't have to diet, restrict, count, track, or obsess about food? and still get incredible results. Like Kristen, she's fit, lean, strong, and healthy without counting, tracking, restricting, or doing any of that stuff. Her nutrition is dialed in. She doesn't think about it. It's easy. It's natural. She craves healthy food. Okay. Imagine craving healthy food. <laughs> when life is crazy, you crave healthy food and you stay on track on autopilot. That's the dream. Uh, would a vegan diet be considered a restricted diet? Depends. Depends why you're on that vegan diet. On that vegan diet. I don't like food labels of any kind. They often come from some sort of restriction or expectation um, and they limit you because what if you decide you want to do it anymore? There's like so many labels that you're trying to keep yourself in this box. So I say, just eat food. I eat all the food pretty good most of the time, right? Um, so that being on a vegan diet or a, or a paleo diet or being keto, I get put you in a box. I, I hate labels. I say the only labels that I am is woman, mother, and wife. Like those are the only non-negotiables. Everything else is flexible and fluid in my life. I don't, you put yourself in a box and you get stuck. You learn some new things. And then you're like, but wait, I've identified as this, as a vegan. And now maybe I want to switch a little. And there's a lot of drama that has to go in there, right? It's a lot of mindset drama. So like, 
it depends, Christy, why, um, why you started being on a vegan diet. And a lot of diets start for a restrictive reason. So just, again, study yourself with compassion, non-judgment, with curiosity. Is it working for you? Okay. Uh, strategy three, know your why. Okay. Know why you are stuck. This is huge. We've been talking a lot about this already, but here's some other reasons that you could be stuck. Um, you think nutrition is hard, complicated, confusing, and overwhelming. Like I said, the thoughts you, you think on autopilot, the thoughts you've always thought can be why you're stuck. When you shift from food is hard to food is fuel, when you, when you switch from restriction to nourishing, I have to restrict my food to I have to nourish my body, that's game changing. So is that, is that an issue for you? Could that be where you're stuck? You have a bad relationship with food in your body, right? You were raised in a diet household or told you were fat, you were told you were fat as a kid. So many of my women were, have, were on Weight Watchers with their parents when they're, when they're eight. Like if everyone in your family is telling you that you have a weight problem and um, puts you on Weight Watchers and everyone around you as a kid is dieting, like we're going to struggle. Again, I didn't, I didn't have that, but I study you guys. I listen uh, um, and, and I understand this. This is where people are so stuck. And if you believe that you're, you can't lose weight, if you believe that you're always going to struggle with your weight, you will. And so food will always be a problem. Um, other reasons that you could be stuck, beauty and their industry standards and comparisons, right? The diet industry and the information coming out of it, the expectations set. Um, there's so much information out there. You're just confused. Everyone is shouting at women to just eat less and move more, right? That is keeping us stuck if you're doing that. If you're listening to that and believing that and thinking that, and you're just wanting weight loss, obsessed about the weight loss and the restrictions, it's keeping you stuck. Perfectionism past failures with dieting, negative self-talk, you think you don't have time, you think you don't have control around food. These are all thoughts as well, okay? You've hopped diet to diet for decades of your life. You're afraid of food, you're afraid to eat. You think you need to shrink your body to be worthy and healthy. Trauma, trauma is big. Unmanaged emotions, not knowing how to process your emotions. So you either undereat or you overeat or, you know, go straight to sugar or alcohol, right? These unmanaged emotions, these subconscious, this subconscious programming that you've been doing, um, it's keeping you stuck. Bad habits, self-sabotaging thoughts and behaviors, that negative self-talk. Um, and again, you're obsessed with weight loss and you think you have to eat less to get in control, um, of yourself to achieve it. So all of these thoughts, a lot of this is thoughts, right? It's, it's a lot of um, thought errors. We have unmanaged minds because of our journey, because of our trauma, because of our life, because of our childhood. And when you don't know, you don't know. But when you know, you get to make strategic changes to your brain, to your thoughts which extrapolates down to your emotions and your actions and inactions, okay? Um, so know your why, know why you're stuck, and then know why getting your nutrition on track matters. Why does getting your nutrition on track matter? Knowing your why should pull you. It should, like getting your nutrition on track is one of the most important skills you can ever acquire for yourself. And here's a few reasons why. <laughs> Again, I worked in healthcare for a decade in, on the acute floors, and I saw everything. Um, so much chronic health failure, failing to thrive um, because of metabolic disorders, lifestyle disorders, okay? Because people didn't know. It wasn't their fault. They didn't know. If you weren't, I would say if you weren't raised in a healthy family, like, how are you supposed to know? But here, I'm here to help you. I'm here to teach you so that you can make the changes you need. So you don't have to go down the path that maybe those before you have gone down or the path that you're currently on. So a few stats, There's an it's an estimate that 82% of the US population is metabolically unhealthy with greater than 70% of the population being overweight or, or obese and over 50% with prediabetes or diabetes, okay? It's a significant amount of people. Metabolic syndrome is a cluster of conditions that include increased blood pressure, um, 
high blood sugar, excessive body fat around the waist, abnormal cholesterol or triglyceride levels. Having one or more of those conditions of metabolic syndrome increases your risk of diabetes, heart disease, and stroke. Disease number one killer of women. Poor metabolic health is the root cause of most chronic diseases and, and most of this is lifestyle, okay? What you put in your mouth over the years dictates how you live and die. That's just... I also live in a blue zone now. A blue zone is the healthiest populations in the world. Uh, I can see the, the, the difference in lifestyles and habits. Um, it matters. Obesity, diabetes, heart disease, cancer, high blood pressure, fatty liver disease, autoimmune disease, mental health, et cetera, with all the complications that come with them, all have the same denominator. At the root is your metabolic health, your physical health, and your mental health are all deeply connected. And so I want you guys to get out your pen and paper and write down why your nutrition matters to you. Why does getting your nutrition on track and keeping it on track, working on this stuff, acquiring these skills, why does it matter? physical reasons, metabolic health reasons, mental health reasons. Who needs you to be healthy, super healthy, energized, and able in this world? Who needs you to be at best? Who needs you to teach them? Who needs you to show them how to eat better, how to take care of themselves better, right? I know for certain I do not want my boys watching me strict and count food and make nutrition feel so complicated. I don't want that for them. You know, who needs you? Um, knowing your why deeply is a yeah. high performance habit of most successful people because that why should be so deep that it pulls you. It makes you want to do the work, even the hard stuff. Okay. Knowing your why is important. Knowing why you struggle is super important. Because you can't change what you don't know, right? And then knowing why matters and why getting on track matters, all right? And a lot of people just ignore it. They don't care. They don't know. They don't care. It's not a big deal. And I'll tell you that um, from my years working in the care, you don't care uh, when it's too late. <laughs> and, and that's, it's, it's, it's so sad to me and I don't want that for you. So I'm on a mission and our governments aren't, aren't helping with prevention. Our doctors aren't. That's not their job. It's not your doctor's job to help you prevent. It's not your doctor's job to help you get your nutrition on track. It's not. That's your job. And that's my job. That's what I'm here to teach. Okay. Strategy four. Master your macros. Okay. This is the like, how do you eat? Right. So we've talked a lot about mindset. 80% of nutrition, getting nutrition on track is actually mindset stuff. It's deeper personal development work. It's emotional stuff. But we also need to know how to how to eat. And like I said, our physiologies are pretty much the same, especially as women over 35 who are active. Um, all people, like it's it, nutrition is not rocket science, you guys. We need to master your macros, okay? You got to eat to nourish your body and balance your blood sugars, not restrict. That's like the key, okay? I teach macro mastery. Combine these three principles. This is how you eat three macro balanced meals per day, balanced snack, macro balanced snacks in between those meals if you are hungry. Okay, noticing, starting to tune into your body, and then notice and rewire mindless and emotional eating. It's all you need to do to master your actual nutrition. It's very simple three macro balanced meals a day, balanced snacks in between. If you're hungry, and then notice and rewire mindless and emotional eating patterns. Okay. Macro balanced meals simply means every time you eat, combine fats, carbs, and proteins together. That balances your math, that balances your blood sugars. This is just basic physiology, balances your blood sugars. That is going to fill you up longer. It's going to nourish your body with everything it needs. It's going to reduce your sugar cravings. It's going to stabilize your energy. It's going to stabilize your moods. It's going to cut down on random snacking and grazing. 
grazing is the worst. That's what I used to do. I would not eat meals. I would just graze, which was all carbohydrates, barely any calories, no protein. I was a mess. I was binge eating. I was emotional. I was irritable. My hormones were a mess. I was exhausted and my brain didn't work. My runs were heavy. Um, I was injured all the time. I was sick all the time. Wasn't eating. Wasn't eating. Nutrition simple. Three macro balanced meals a day. Snacks in between if you're hungry. So what I teach with this one is that you've got to start to tune into your body. Are you hungry? Yes or no? If you're hungry, okay. Have a macro balanced, delicious, filling snack. If you're not hungry, what else is going on and what else can you do? But learning to tune into that hunger. Most people say, oh, if you're hungry, just drink water, stuff it down. It's like, no, if you're hungry, eat. But do you know if you're hungry? Most people don't know if they're hungry. I have people with me that are hungry all the time because they're grazing all day. Their hunger hormones are a mess. They're sugar burning off the top, never fat burning, um, never really getting hungry. They're just craving all the time. I used to do that. Energy was like this, cravings were crazy. Um, I teach a lot of this in the program. I can't teach it all here. Um, and then we really talk through it because there's a lot of questions that come up for people. There's a lot of just simplifying it for you guys. It's really, really simple. Um, but it does take some conversations and some coaching to help you through it. Um, the other thing this does, three balanced meals, it keeps you full longer, which allows your body to go from sugar burning and grazing all day long. That means you're just burning sugar all day. You eat a meal and you're full. This is like my strategic fasting, I say, just because that's what everyone wants, the, the, the fancy terms. We, we eat within, within an hour of waking up, a macro balanced meal. And then we hold. So you're fasting at night, okay? You wake up, you get hungry, you eat a macro balanced meal, and then you, you hold off until you get hungry. You're fasting in between, not grazing and snacking all day. You're full, so you're not mindless and emotional eating in between. That's gonna allow your body to process the food, digest the food, and tap into fat stores in between, okay? This is golden, okay? So so that's that's... That's macro mastery. Master those skills. Um, eating the right food in the right balance for the right reasons at the right time to nourish your body, fuel your body, and balance your blood sugars is going to power up your metabolism and make nutrition super simple. You're going to feel awesome and it's going to just improve your health in every way. And you don't have to restrict anything. There's room for treats. You don't have to be perfect. The thing I love about this strategy and the way I teach it is I give you some guidelines based on your physiology. Okay, this is how the human body works. Women, we need protein. Like we gotta be getting that protein in because we are losing muscle. I'm teaching a little too much. I gotta keep going, but we're losing muscle because of our hormone shifts in midlife. And we gotta be eating protein, good bolus in the morning, and then regular doses through the day to, to maintain that muscle. You add strength training on top and you're gonna be build muscle and boosting your metabolism. Okay, so this is, these are really important strategies. They're very simple. They work like gangbusters. And if you, if you want a rocking metabolism, you want to avoid that blood sugar roller coaster. Okay, so this is when you're not eating or sorry, you eat and then you crash and you eat and then you crash. And that's that sugar burning cycle. Or when you eat and then you skip a meal, right? Again, I said, the body hates this. The body hates this, whether that's dieting, like, days and binging at night, staying on track during the week, binging on the weekends. It also hates the daily roller coaster of the blood sugar. Okay. And um, that's where we eat some, some carbs, we eat some sugar, and then we crash, right? That goes all day. I remember that feeling. It was like, I was jittery all the time. Okay. It hates skipping meals. Your blood sugar will tank during there. And then you eat, and then you're so hungry that you eat everything in sight, which tends to be junk food. So now you're you're like up and you're down, and then you're binging on junk food. Your body hates that. Okay. This is what causes cravings, energy swings, headaches, irritability, eating sweets or salty without an off switch in the afternoon, brain fog, dizziness, shakiness. You are a sugar burner. Your, your blood sugars are all over the map. Your blood sugars are all over the map and your body feels unsafe and stressed and it will hold on to all weight, okay? And you will feel miserable. Macro balanced eating, macro mastery that I teach is a flexible approach with a focus on real food, eating enough food and eating at regular intervals. It works with your natural circadian rhythms and balances your blood sugars. That is the key, okay? 
Um, it's naturally anti-inflammatory because we focus on mostly real food. There's room for treats. Like I said, I had pizza for lunch today. Um, you don't have to get it perfect. I don't want to be perfect. I like to eat pizza. Like it's fine. Um, but we just get it in track. We get into better balance. We become more mindful. Um, I teach the macro balancing method, which is balancing, not tracking or counting. And using this method, you learn how to listen to your body and work with your body. You build trust back with your body, with yourself. A lot of us don't trust ourselves around food, right? Um, you get in control of food so that food isn't controlling you. It, this allows you to stay on track anywhere, anytime through all of life's ups and downs, holidays, vacations, parties, okay? Um, I teach you also how to fuel your workouts right in macro balancing method in the deeply nourished program. Um, this again, be, helps you, be, it shifts you from sugar burner into fat burner on autopilot, okay? I remember craving and like eating and skipping meals and grazing and just craving and feeling jittery to eating properly and then getting hungry. And I could literally feel my metabolism shift. And I've eaten like this ever since. And I just get, like I said, I get fitter, leaner, and stronger. This is what my clients say as well. Oh my God, my cravings are gone. My brain fog is gone. I'm lifting heavier. Fat is burning off my body, <laughs> right? Um, this style of eating also brings your hunger and fullness hormones back into balance. I really, um, this is, again, this is the science with the art of the behavior change and the mindfulness and the emotional stuff. Um, this keeps your hormones um, and your physiology and your metabolism it keeps all that in mind. This is just how we eat, okay? This isn't intuitive eating. I know intuitive eating is really popular and I love intuitive eating. I bring in a ton of intuitive eating principles, but I'm not full intuitive eating because I don't label, right? I don't like to label these things, um, but it's also not rigid dieting. I'm in the middle. I'm always about balance. I'm in the middle of those two. I want to understand how my physiology works. I want to understand blood sugar, how to balance those blood sugars, how to build lean muscle and boost my metabolism, how to improve my health at the cellular level. Cause I think that's really important for disease prevention. But then we bring in the gentleness of the intuitive eating and we blend those two. And that's where this style, uh, it's just such a good strategy for eating, okay? Uh, Pro-metabolic macro balance eating is in the middle because when the goal is fitter, leaner, stronger with a powered up metabolism, you need to blend the science of macros, female physiology and metabolism with a flexible approach that you can stick to forever, okay? Bulls, right? <laughs> um, and in the Deeply Nourished program, you get all the recipes you need. I don't do meal plans because that's not helpful. I need to teach you how to plan your own meals and how to navigate your days following this pro-metabolic strategy without like rigid rules of you need to eat this because we all live somewhere different. We have likes, dislikes, allergies, sensitivities. Like you need to learn how to eat. Diets teach you how to restrict. I teach you how to eat. You don't need any more restriction. You need to learn how to eat. And so I give you loads of recipes, macro balance recipe guide, macro balance power snack guide, uh, a, a guide with a little more protein for those of you who are training, lifting super heavy, you want a little more protein. And this is Mandy. Mandy's in her mid forties, full-time working mom of three, came to me struggling with emotional eating, mindless eating, restrictions, then binging, struggling with food her whole life. She tried every diet under the sun. She was, you know, heading out to marathons and, and trying, to, trying to lose the weight, right? And they all worked for a bit until they didn't. She was stuck and decided to join Deeply Nourished to get her nutrition on track. She did the deep work, mastered her macros, and her results are incredible. She's done so much deep work. Her, her photos are, they're years apart because I don't promise results in 30 days. I promise to teach you how to get on track and stay on track because then you stay on track and then you get results as time goes. Like I get fitter, leaner and stronger year over year over year, which is what you want, right? So she's doing that and she, she just keeps getting fitter and stronger and leaner year over year. Her weight, just recently, she said to me in the last six months, the weight is just falling off of her now. I don't have a recent photo. Um, I don't do before and after photos. Sometimes people just send me them, so I'll share them. Um, but she says the weight is just falling because she's just really done the deep work and her body's really feeling safe and it's time. Real weight loss doesn't happen overnight. It happens over time. 
And, and the thing for her is that she's never going back. She's never gaining it back because not only, like she didn't just change the food she ate, she changed her whole brain, her whole approach, her whole thought and belief system about food and herself. And that will never change. Like she will never go back. She's literally changed who she is from the inside out. And that's how you get real results, which is what I want for you guys. So strategy five. So that's some mindset stuff, right? Some, some thought work stuff, how to eat macro mastery. And then strategy five is you got to learn to be consistent. Okay. You can have all the knowledge. Remember the researcher has the knowledge, the best programs, the best recipes, the best meal plans, but if you can't stay consistent and do the work day in and day out, week over week, month over month, if you can't get back up when you've had a bad day, if you can't stay on track through all the emotions and vacations and holidays of life, 50% of your emotions are going to be negative. If you can't stay on track through your negative emotions, like you're not going to get results. So consistency is a skill to be learned and mastered. So you got to be on, stay on track. Diet and, fit, diet and fitness culture tell you, you just need more willpower and discipline, but that doesn't work, right? And, and so what I've learned over the years and what I've studied and what I've been practicing with my clients is the consistency success strategy. Consistency from, from undieting your brain and from radical self-awareness. We've been doing a lot of radical self-awareness work already, right? Studying yourself without judgment learning about yourself and we need to undiet your brain right diet culture has has made your brain misfire when it comes to food we need to undiet your brain because as long as you have a diet brain you're always going to go back to restricting every time life gets heavy you're going to go back to restricting you're not going to be able to stay on track with the macro mastery strategies and then we need emotional mastery you have got to dig into your emotions understand emotions your current feeling those emotions you have to learn how to process your emotions without eating without drinking a lot of people too they'll eat when they're emotional and then they'll binge eat okay we've got to get these three pieces in, on track like we've got to understand and do this deep personal development work so that you can be consistent okay this is going to, how you're going to break bad habits. You're going to end your self-sabotaging behaviors. You're going to shift your perspectives in a way that allows you to be consistent. Consistency is a massive skill to be developed. And once you learn how to be consistent, no one can take that away from you. Okay. And I'm a consistency master. I've studied my brain and I've reverse engineered my brain i've studied deeply why i am why are these guys struggling the way they are and i've been obsessed like i said i'm not just about research and science and textbook theory actually like deep in the weeds with studying understanding your brain and how it's different than my brain i want you guys to have the with nutrition and health and body and get the like get it you're never going to look like me but you're going to, you're on track. You're going to look and feel like the fittest, leanest, strongest, most consistent, amazing version of you. And that's what we should all be striving for. Or that's what I'm here to teach you. Um, so that's the consistency strategy. Those are your head strategies. And I have a strategy is that you need to follow a proven formula to make this all happen. Um, it's simple, the strategies. But it's not easy to put this all into play. And I actually think this is where a lot of people are really, it's like, we know, like I said, we know what to do, but we're not doing it. Life hits and how do we manage that? And um, we're trying to put the pieces together on our own and Googling out random things. And, and you know, if you were to bake a cake, um, someone said, I want you to make me a chocolate, zucchini, cinnamon, I don't know, cake with cream cheese frosting and blah, blah, blah. Like, what's the first thing you would do? You would. <laughs> any other, Let's see if that works. Um, you would go get a recipe to bake that cake, right? Just on health and fitness, 
we don't get a, I mean, we try to get the wrong recipes with the wrong angle, and we're trying to piece it all together. And so we struggle to get the result that we want. You guys are really, you're still here with me and you're finding this super interesting. I'm struggling and this is how I need help. I need to be consistent. There is a method. Like I said, I have a method, a proven formula step by step, and I will be there to coach you and help you on, on, on every path, on, on every step to make that happen. And this is the nutrition mastery framework, okay? This is how you're going to get results. This is the formula for getting your nutrition on track. You can end the struggle and get fit, lean, strong, and healthy with ease. You got to have the knowledge, right? You have to do the subconscious reprogramming of your brain and you need expert coaching and support. The women in my program didn't know they needed coaching. And at the end, they say, oh my God, the coaching was the best part of this program. Never knew they needed coaching. Again, like I said, a lot of the things you guys need to do to get your nutrition on track and stay on track, you don't know. And we all need support and that's a very vulnerable place and I know that but when you are like I need help I want help I want to do this I'm excited and like you need to again that's even the shift that's a brain that's a brain shift it's going to be heavy it's going to be hard I don't know I'm scared to oh my god this makes sense I want to do this I'm in like I want to talk to you I want to work with the group I want to do this right this is the nutrition master wire your brain and then you need expert coaching and support to, to help you through because you don't know what you don't know and you have to get out of your head and and what people find too with coaching I feel like coaching is the secret it is the secret glue that I don't know, but like the baking sort of baking powder like the cake's just not the same without those ingredients I won't rise like we need that because we need to get out of our head. We need to connect with other people like us. We need someone to answer our questions. And for us, we're struggling. Help us work through that, okay? And the combination of this stuff is going to give you the skills that you need. It's going to give you the focus and confidence you need. And it's going to give you the support that you need to be consistent, okay? And that's nutrition mastery forever. Like, you don't, I just just finished up a group and she's like, well, nutrition just feels so simple. I'm like, I know. Now you don't have to trouble every day. You can just eat your food, do what you need to do. You want to go on with your day so that you have that energy that right now you're using to, on all the struggle and all the wasted time and wasted energy on what to eat and feeling guilty and hating your body. You can use that energy towards the things in life that really matter, like your family nice. and your hobbies. I don't think about food. I don't stress about food. I eat a lot of other things. I, I use that time to study so I can teach you guys. I love to coach you guys. Take really good care of my family. I can cook really good for my family. Um, we're building an off-grid farm and I get to go up there. What am I doing? Holidays, I can do whatever. I don't don't waste any energy on food so and I used to mm -hmm. but I also I talked to so many women struggling all day with food all day every day that sucks um here's another quote from somebody who finished the program. but my clothes are fitting better my energy has increased and hot flashes are barely noticeable and she's thinking about meals not these days, it's simply protein, carbs, and fats, way easy. Am I still avoiding the mirror, swimsuit season, and all things body related? Nope. I do swimsuit the weekends at the lake. It's the little things I celebrate. No desire to snack, no feelings of being deprived, no pressure to be someone I am not. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, so she signed up to the program. She did every module with me. She came to the weekly coaching calls and she changed her life. Like, I feel like that's like a big thing to say, but it's true. Because when you struggle with nutrition in your body, you struggle in every area of life. Okay. How would it feel 
to have a proven formula that works with next level support every step of the way that guarantees results. How would that feel, you guys? I want you to write that down in your book or comment in the comments below, okay? Really imagine, okay? Imagine how that would feel when you didn't have to struggle with food every day, okay? Whew, that was a lot, okay? Like I said, I talk a lot. I have a lot to share because I have so much experience and um, I love, love, love. I love what I do. I feel very fortunate. I, I just, I love teaching and helping you guys. And so let's do a quick review of what we talked about. Um, we talked about hustle diet culture roller coaster, right? Just up and down and off and on and all over the map with our emotions, our eating, our consistency, and how our body doesn't like that. And our body much prefers a balanced approach, like a sailboat on the gentle sea. That's where our body is happiest, where it functions best, where we're going to feel the best. You can even feel the energy shift of those two things, right? And you guys, I want to take you from roller coaster to sailboat on the ocean. One day I'll do a retreat in Costa Rica and we're definitely going to go to sailboat. <laughs> uh, we talked about the nourish, deeply nourished woman framework and where you guys sat on that, right? knowledge versus consistency and um, how most of you are, are either the researcher, the yo-yo dieter or the hustler. And I want you guys to become the deeply nourished woman. We talked about the five key strategies, oops, not for restoring your metabolism, for, um, for getting your nutrition on track. And just to review that, it was strategy one was the mindset shift, food is fuel. Strategy two, so you gotta ditch dieting, rewire your diet brain. Strategy three was know your why. Why do you struggle? And why does your nutrition matter? Strategy four was you have to master your macros. Number five was you need to learn how to be consistent. Okay, this is, these are the strategies that are gonna help you get on track and then stay on track. Okay, because that's the key. Consistency is everything. And they gave you the bonus strategy, the proven formula, right? Knowledge, subconscious reprogramming, expert coaching and guidance. Okay, the step-by-step -step system to take you from struggling, craving, exhausted, frustrated, hating your body, wasting all your time thinking about food, gaining weight, getting sick, to confidently nourishing, fueling your body, feeling awesome in your skin. Okay, I want to do a check-in, you guys. What has been the most valuable so far? I would love, love, love to know. Um, I would love to know. What are you, what's been the most valuable so far? What takeaway, what like aha moment? A lot of times people are like, oh my God, I never thought of that before. Um, so I'd love to know. I'd love for you guys to send me a message. You can type in the comments. You can write in your book, but remember, be an action taker, okay? What has been most valuable for you so far? Then I want you to pause, put your pen down and close your eyes, okay? Some nice just breaths, because it's been a lot. I do deep work. Like I don't just sugarcoat things, you guys. I don't just talk about food on the surface, I go deep. Because until we go deep, we don't make real change. And I don't really have time for that at this point in my life. I want to help you guys get real change. I want to go deep and get to the root of the problem. And so it's been, it's, it's been a long session so far and it's been a lot, okay? So I want you guys to close your eyes and just breathe, okay? Have a sip of water, me too. And I want you to imagine a life free from junk food cravings, free from binge eating, a life where you can eat one cookie with control and enjoy it and not binge eat the whole bag and then be left feeling guilty and shameful. Imagine a life free from the nutrition and body struggle, confident about what to eat and how much to eat. Imagine a life where healthy choices come normal and easy with Beyonce level energy all day, a life where you love and respect your body, a life where you look in the mirror and you actually 
like the reflection staring back at you. Imagine a life free from tracking, counting, and stressing about food 24 seven. Imagine a life in clothes that fit and in a body that feels light, lean, sexy, and strong. Okay. Um, someone commented that she, the stats about dieting were eye-opening. Yes. There, like I said, nutrition is the dirty little secret of the fitness and nutrition community. And no one really talks about it. <laughs> and so are you guys seriously ready to get your nutrition on track? Keep it on track and build a fitter, cleaner, stronger body. Okay. But <laughs> it's a lot of information today. I know when you're, you might feel like, I don't know where to go from here. I'm not sure if I can do this on my own. Um, you want some personal guidance and support and coaching because you know this is exactly what you need to do. Okay. This is the next step for you. I want to talk to you about the deeply nourished method. This is the only live nutrition coaching program that exists in the industry for active women that focuses on combining the science of nutrition with the science and art of emotional mastery, mindfulness, and next level behavior change and coaching to help you build a fitter, leaner, stronger body that is not only feeling incredible, but is permanently changing your relationship with food in your body in the most positive and sustainable way possible without dieting, without restricting, without tracking a single thing in a way that you can stick to forever. Okay. I've created this program with so much experience and heart and just listening to where you struggle. I've just created every module in alignment with what's going to come next for you. Okay. It's an incredible program that I'm, I've taken so many women through and it just blows my mind every time the results that they get. Okay. But my confession is this program is not for everybody. It's not for you. If you want to stay focused solely on weight loss, on the scale and on restrictions and labels with your food. Okay. I'm not going to force anyone to eat meat or anything, but if you, if you're, if you're super restrictive and you want to stay that way, it's not for you. Okay. You need to be open-minded in this program. You want to be, you have to be willing to learn. It's not for you. If you don't want to learn, it's not for you. If you don't want to do any deep personal work. Okay. It's not for you. If you were looking for a quick fix, a fad diet, a cleanse or a detox solution, especially a quick fix. This isn't a quick fix transformation challenge. That's not what this program is. It's a deep learning experience. It's a personal development journey in the area of your nutrition and getting it on track and figuring out why you struggle and changing your brain. Okay. This isn't for you if you don't want to learn anything new and it's not for you if you want to do it alone. We don't just sell this program for you to do it alone. I think the coaching is so so powerful. Okay. And so if you want to do it alone, you figure it out yourself. It's in for you. But this is perfect for you if you want to restore your metabolism. I think this might be wrong. <laughs> that would be wrong. This is for you if um, you want to learn, if you want to learn more about yourself, if you want to do the deep personal work, if you want to rewire your brain around food, around yourself. It's for you if you want to do it with a group of women who are just like you. If you want coaching, if you want support, if you want to focus, if you want to do this differently, if you want to set yourself up for long-term success, okay? If you wanna break out of the struggle and get yourself on track for the long-term, because this isn't a short-term fix program. Those don't work. Okay. And so how does this program work? The deeply nurse method is a combination of curriculum and resources, coaching and community. Okay. It's a very powerful triad. 
the deeply nourished method curriculum is this it's that there's 10 modules it's a step-by-step -step blueprint to help you get your nutrition on track and, and stay on track right i take you through the module step-by-step -step of what you need to do okay the steps can't be skipped either i always tell people we you have to work through them one by one um because they build on each other and i know because i've worked with so many women that um when I, when I teach them something and they work on it and they implement it, it's like, I know where they're going to struggle next. And that's the next module. And it's, it's a beautiful, beautiful program and a beautiful, beautiful method. And so you get the curriculum, the 10 module curriculum, you get weekly coaching to it's expert guidance and support to help you week by week as you work through the curriculum and begin to implement it so that you aren't trying to figure it out alone. I hold the space on the coaching program. I don't know if you've ever done coaching, but when you can be in a space where someone holds a container for conversation around the topics that are meaningful to you and going to get you the change you want, it's just so powerful and amazing. Like I said, the women in the group were just like, I had no idea. Because so diets are do it yourself and just follow this meal plan and just do this thing. There's never any discussion and no one really wants to talk to you about it. Your doctor spend two minutes with you, right? It's not coaching. It's not what they do, but it's life-changing, okay? And then you get the community. There's a community of like-minded women who are there to learn with you, to take action with you, to get coaching with you, to up-level with you, to support you. It's so powerful. There's something so powerful with the community because we're not, we're all following the same principles and strategies and not just dieting and like focused on weight loss. You know, weight loss groups, right? It's a bit desperate and like the conversations are quite low quality. These are next level conversations. Like we are professional women getting our shit together, doing it strategically, um, and having next level conversations, which gets you next level results, which is why I love this community. Okay. The deeply nourished curriculum is, uh, you guys, my, it didn't save for me. So I don't know what happened here. This is wrong. The curriculum is, um, master. First you learn to master all things, macros, master your macros. Then you're going to learn to liberate yourself from diet culture. You're going to rewire your brain. You're going to learn to master your emotions and then how to create, how to live with next level mindfulness. Okay. There's 10 modules. So there's like pieces in between here, but these are the core pillars of the program. And every time you do a module, I'm going to say, this is my favorite module. Then you're going to finish it. You're going to do it. We're going to talk about it. You're going to implement it. And we're going to get to the next one. I'm going to say, oh my God, this is my favorite module because they're so good. And they just get you unstuck, but in a way that's like really interesting in a way that it's like, oh my God, no one has ever explained this to me. Where has this program been all my life? Like, it's so cool and interesting. It's, it's, it's deep work, but personal development work is very interesting. I think, I think it's interesting. That's how you have to approach it as interesting deep journey that you're going to go on. So anyways, <laughs> um, you're going to get resources. So I've got loads of uh, macro balance recipes and guides and access to our extensive nutrition library. So you don't have to search on Google for recipes, but um, again, they're not recipe meal plans. That's the, like the recipes are the easy part, but I give you them all so that you know what a macro balance meal looks like. Okay. And we're going to talk a lot about that. I'll help you guys really master those macros. You get weekly live online group coaching for 12 weeks and 24 seven community support. It's 497 to join. The next round is starting soon. The next group program, I, I, I lead them in groups because I like when we go through the program together and we all work through the content together. So the next group is starting the week of January 9th. Enrollment's open for 497, okay? You're going to get these bonuses when you join this round. The protein power guide. Most women I know are not eating enough protein. Here you're going to learn if there's any macros that you're going to learn, it's going to be protein. You, you dial in that protein, the rest kind of eat, gets easy. Okay. You're going to learn to calculate, calculate and customize your protein intake for your goals. You're going to get a full protein food list, sample protein ideas, and 15 ways to increase your protein. You do not have to track 
in a in a calculator, but you can see how much protein you need, and then you can see all the examples of like how much protein is in all of these foods. You just learn, you understand without having to count and track and fuss about all that stuff. But there is some stuff you need to learn. Like we don't just wing it, okay? Bonus two is you're gonna get the healthy and high protein soup recipe guide. 20 of the best healthy high protein soup recipes um, that I could find. Chicken, beef, vegetarian, and more to make these soups. Um, comforting, pro-metabolic, uh, macro balance and easy perfect meal for lunch or dinner. People always want lots of recipes. So I want to give you all the recipes that you need. Okay. Bonus three is healthy and hydrating anti-inflammatory drink recipes. Taming inflammation is just a natural, um, it just happens naturally through what I teach you through the recipes, through the strategies, through the focus on focus on real food, 80, 90% of the time with mindfulness. Um, and then a lot of people struggle with drinks, drinking a lot of alcohol, a lot of um, drinking a lot of sugar. And so I want to give you guys just a really nice, delicious recipe guide of alternatives for that as you're changing out, okay? Um, so there we go, we're gonna get that. Bonus four is you're gonna get a, the complete at-home training system that I give all of my strength training clients because I know that you guys also love training. And if you wanna increase your metabolism, you wanna get your nutrition and your workouts dialed in. So these are just gonna be a bonus for you. The program is not focused on, on workouts, but I have really killer workouts. So I'm gonna give you guys all those workouts. So if you want to tighten up your workouts while you're dialing in your nutrition, you're gonna have massive transformation in 12 weeks, okay? So I'm gonna give you those. Uh, complete at home training system designed to help you get super fit, lean, and strong in under 30 minutes without any equipment. So these are going to be my, um, all of my glute band and body weight workouts. Okay. Bonus five. I have all kinds of bonuses. I want you guys in an entire year of our monthly macro balance recipe guys, so that you have seasonal recipes, recipe ideas at your fingertips every month of the year. Okay. I don't want you guys wasting time on the internet looking for recipes. Okay. Bonus six, I know that you have bad habits and bad habits are harder to break than creating good habits. And so I've built a course called Breaking Bad Habits and you're gonna get this mini course as a bonus uh, video training in addition to the 10 module core curriculum of the Deeply Nourished program, okay? I'm signed up already, great, awesome. Oh, good, Naomi, perfect. It's a good intro for you. I'm really excited to work with you. Um, so you're gonna get that as a bonus. That's a bonus course I'm throwing in. These are the results of, I've had tons of women work through this program, work through this content, learn the macro balancing strategies, consistency habits, tons of messages from my clients. Okay, like, I don't know, so much, <laughs> so many. And the cool thing is that I practice exactly what I preach. Like I told you guys, I, I don't do anything crazy. I eat pizza for lunch sometimes. I eat a lot of salads with chicken. Like I keep my nutrition simple. I'm consistent beyond anybody. I'm the most consistent person I know. Um, I, I talk about that and I teach why that is. Again, it's because of my brain um, and just who I am. But I've been able to reverse that, engineer that for you guys. And I'm consistent. Like, I don't fluctuate. I don't go up. I don't get down. I don't go down. Like, I get fitter, leaner, stronger every year. And I don't say that to brag. I just say that to show you guys. Like, I'm leading by example. I, I practice what I preach with, with, like, next level mindfulness and consistency. And I feel good. And I don't feel stressed. And I want that for you guys. I don't plan on struggling through perimenopause and menopause because I know that your body hates this. I've never had a painful period in my life because not because of luck. It's because of my habits. I understand my physiology, my mind. I've done so much mindset and personal development work. My, my, my thoughts are dialed in. I can control my emotions. So good because I've had to learn how to do that. And that's what I want for you guys. That's why this program is unlike any other program. Not only do I teach you, I support you, I coach you. It comes from experience and lived, like lived experience and lived extensive coaching with women who are struggling, okay? And so here's a 60 second summary of 
And I think it is safe. This is not supposed to say this. It's to say deeply nourished. Um, you are going to get um, the deeply nourished method core curriculum. This is my life's work. I've been doing this for 20 years. I've worked with thousands of women. It's worth at least $5,000. And this is, this is everything that I know, okay? You get 12 weeks, not six months, sorry. 12 weeks of live group coaching. 12, well, you get lifetime access to the, to the deeply nourished community support group. So you're always gonna have the Facebook group. But you get 12 weeks of live coaching. You're going to get all the bonuses, the protein power guide, the healthy high protein soup guide, healthy hydrating recipe guide, full year of, of seasonal macro recipe guides. You're going to get all the workouts. You're going to get the how to break bad habits mini course. I mean, again, this is like all of my life's learning and work, and it's worth at least $10,000. And the standard price of this program is going to be $9.97 next time I run it. But for the January round, the, the price is going to be $4.97. We start the week of January 9th, okay? There's two options. You can do this group coaching, or you can do a VIP one-on-one -on -one coaching with me, okay? So the group coaching program, where you get 12 weeks of coaching, um, the, the community support group. We also have a group chat. You get all the bonuses. You don't get one-on-one -on -one with me. You get everything else. The group coaching support is amazing. It's $4.97. If you want to work one-on-one -on -one with me through this, it's $14.97. Okay. I have a few spots open. I do not open many one-to-one -one spots, um, but I have a couple open for January. I think I have two, two spots left that I'm, that I've opened up. And as a result of this program, you will experience, um, it didn't say, but as a result of this program, you will experience an end to your cravings, stable energy. You will get your nutrition on track. You will crave healthy food on autopilot. You will have steady energy. Did I say that? I'm making this up as I go because I know what you will get, but it didn't save on the, on the PowerPoint presentation put together. I don't know what happened. Um, you will have more energy. You will go from sugar burning to fat burning. You will confidently know how to nourish your body. You will have stable mood, stable energy. Um, brain fog will go away. Digestion will get better. Metabolism will go up. I can't, I don't promise weight loss because that's not the point. I'm helping you get your nutrition on track. Weight loss comes later after you've been consistent for a long time, but you need to know what to do and you need the skills to be consistent to get the weight loss. We put weight loss on the back burner. It will happen, okay? Um, and you will do this all without drama, without counting, without restrictions, okay? And like I said, um, the program, the next round starts the week of January 9th. Um, the program is 497 this round and it is going up in the future. And this program works 100% of the time. If you do the work, <laughs> if you join the program and work through the curriculum with me, you stay focused with me, you get excited with me, you come to coaching calls and talk to me, this program works. Blows my mind every time. Okay. Um, and I believe that no woman has to struggle forever with food. Food doesn't have to feel so hard. It doesn't have to be a struggle. No woman has to feel stuck, overweight, overwhelmed, unheard, or drained anymore. This program will change everything for you. Okay. If you join excited and ready to do the work with me, okay, you don't even have to be ready. That's not true. That, that's a thought shift. No, no, no. I'm just ready. I'm going to do this. Yes, it's going to make me feel a bit uncomfortable and vulnerable, but I need this. Get excited, okay? You've done so much for others over the last years, and now it's your time to focus on you. It's time to take care of your body. If you're ready um, to get your nutrition on track, I would be so excited to work with you. And so from here... You have a choice to make. Which path are you going to take? 
path number one. You're going to take the info I've taught you today, and try to implement it all on your own. You might waste time, uh, money, energy, trying to put all the pieces together on your own, um, getting workouts, getting meal plans, figuring things out, but um, you can do it on your own and that's okay. But path number two is you can choose to join the Deeply Nourished Method and work with me side by side, holding your hand through all of this. And finally, get the info, resources, coaching, support, guidance, and accountability you need for success without wasting another minute. Okay. I had a client today who just said, I'm too busy to figure this out on my own. I don't want to waste any more time trying to figure this out on my own. I just need you to guide me <laughs> and support me and hold my hand. We need this. Okay. So will you join us, right? I will email you the link. If you want to join me, you all, I've talked to each and every one of you who has signed up for this workshop. I hope you're still listening because I know it's so long, but I, I always have a lot to say. I love teaching this stuff. Send me a message. I'll send you the link to join. Um, I'll post it in a bunch of places. I'll send it to you in an email. Um, but I would love to invite you to join us, okay? And if you're all in, Let's get the party started. I'm excited for you. I know that um, Naomi's already signed up and there's Stacy's already signed up. There's like a bunch of people already signed up and in the group and in the chat and in the program website already digging into the modules. Excited for coaching calls to start the week of January 9th. Okay, so if you're in, I'm excited. Let's get the party started. This is going to be fun. Yes, it's deep work, but it's also amazing work. It's the best work you could ever do. I see women putting so much effort into their careers and all these other things, and they're struggling with their food. Give me 12 weeks with you. I will change your life with food, okay? You will never have to struggle with food again. I think that that's the big promise. I will change your relationship with food. You will never have to struggle with food again. <laughs> um, and it, yeah, start.runningmoms.com backslash deeply underscore nourished is the website message me, I'll email it to you. I'll post it around. You guys know where to find me. Okay. Do you have any questions? Okay. I'll hop into where I'm live streaming this as well. Um, does anybody have any questions? For me, is anyone left here? Okay, let me, yeah. Does anyone have any questions for me? I'm here if anyone has questions about how to get your nutrition on track, how to keep it on track or about the deeply nourished program. Big takeaways are um, stats about dieting were eye-opening. That you've spoken about my experience and understand it. Yes, Megan, I, I do. I do. Like I said, I've worked with so many people and not just like told them what to do, but like worked with them, like sat with them, like listened to them and helped them take that next step to get on track. Supported them through that. All of the above resonated with me. That's my experience. Yes, 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 yes. Okay. All right, you guys, that was way longer <laughs> than I wanted it to be. I really want these to be an hour, but I just don't know how I would get these to be an hour because I just have so much that I wanna teach and share with you guys. Um, my The course isn't that long, they're short videos. <laughs> and so they're really easy to listen to and just so many aha moments and uh, I hope you join because I'd love to work with you and help support you, get your nutrition on track, keep it on track and end the nutrition and body struggle so that you can live your life feeling amazing. We only have one life. We only have one body and she deserves to be taken care of. The only person that's going to do that is you. And so we all need help sometimes, especially in this. We think it'd be easy, but it's not because of how your brain's been wired, because of diet culture. I'm here to rewire and support you, okay? Take care.